Uh, you want to talk about mainline tier 5, so those and those. Okay. Um, there's nothing else that I can... Good. So what's a good mainline tier 5 ship? Depends a bit on what you want to play. Depends a bit what you want to play. Do you want to go for the torpedoes? Do you want to go for the battleships? The, the, the big differences. Let's walk over them. Let's go for the. Let's go through the the sets of ships there are. So let's go for the DDs first. I do like myself the Nicholas. Nicholas is really good. Good concealment. Good guns. It's all around just a good DD. Also the entire line is pretty good. It's not the best at anything, but really good at most things. So definitely good. Uh, Mutsuki, I, I love my torpedo boats, but to be fair, Mutsuki is fine. The rest of the line, though, not so much. The consumer, the consumer is way too high in the next uh, tier 6 and 7. And 8 becomes good again, but 6 and 7 is really rough to get through. Uh, only good for torpedoes, uh, which is uh, pretty limiting. I used to love the line, but it's pretty hard to get through now. It's pretty much power crept. T22. Uh, does lead down a very fun line, also with um, Gate being in front of it. Gate is awesome. And you get the, the mass. There's a lot of good ships in this line. You get your Hydros, really fun ships to play. Uh, do fall off a bit end game, but, you know, they're still fun. Uh, this is what people like to play for the most um, Daka gunboats for the, to get to the Daring. Uh, very good gunboats, very good into uh, one of one engagements. Uh, short range smoke screens, which I never really got to work with properly. I don't like them, but they're really good if you know how to use them. So really good. Uh, Jaguar is fun for once in a while. The, the, old Jap the whole French DD line is all about speed and long range. You can't really cap. You will be spot from the moon. Uh, but your Daka is insane. And if you have good engine juking, these can be really fun ships, but... Sometimes you will have situations where you have to cap or you have to spot and you're not the greatest of those. Same thing for the German, for the Russians, by the way. Mastro just saw the line. Um, doesn't really cap well, doesn't really torpedo well, doesn't really gunboat well. It's good at destroying DDs with the guns, but not really great DD on its own. The entire line isn't. In my opinion, the best line in the game, the pan-European pan line for destroyers. It can fight against planes, they can fight against... Other gunboats, they have great torpedoes. I think the best time in the game. My personal opinion. Why do we have two tier fives here? Europe. Oh, well, oh of course, you dance on a hand line. I forgot that these lines existed. <laughs> I forgot these lines existed. <laughs> One of the most broken tier, uh, high tier play, high tier ships, I believe. You got a radar, right? Not mistaken. Um, my good gone. Anyways, uh, yeah, the pen. The pan European ships, in my opinion, are the best DDs in the game. And then we go for the cruisers. Uh, my personal favorites are, well, besides the Dutch, I'm Dutch, so therefore I'm obviously not biased and Dutch are the best. But <laughs> I like them a lot. They're really good. Um, Emerald is a fun line to go for. If you want to go for the Minotaur line and getting all the uh, AP only Daka, it's a bit more skill based. You need to be good at this, you need to learn this, it's not easy, but they can be really great. For Daka, hits like a freaking truck, it's the best ship in the line. <coughs> Unfortunately, it's the best ship in the line, so you can go further on. Zao is good, Ibuki is eh. Um, I do like uh, Miyoko, it's really fun. But yeah, for Daka is one of the best ships in the line for the tier, so. It's really fun at tier 5. Beyond that, wouldn't go. Oma is the best teacher in the game. Best teacher in the game by far. Um, easily. It's hard to, hard to play. You get it a bit too early. Most people don't know how to play it yet. And they get killed a lot in Oma. Oma gets you killed a lot. But if you know how to use islands. If you learn that you get to use islands. Then you can do insane things with her. Königsberg is one of the scariest lines to get up to mid tiers. Uh, you get to go past the Nuremberg and stuff. Really good fire starters, long range, accurate, um, really good crews all around. Uh, they do fall back a bit at uh, Max here. I think Hindenburg is good, but I think there's better options for long range AG spamming. It's not a bad ship whatsoever. They're really good ships, but um, I would prefer the, the Zhao over the Hindenburg, in my opinion. But Königsberg is really good. Also, the Hydro there, really nice. Uh, Hawkins, uh, fun line. Uh, you need to learn, know what you're doing because you're going to get sitted a lot, but you can heal most of the damage you take. 
it's really fun to play. Uh, not much into the French line, not really my cup of tea. They're good, but just not my cup of tea. They're the long range flanking ships, but with the way carriers are now, they can't really function that well. You don't see them that often anymore. Used to be great. Uh, their role's basically been taken over by the Italians, which have SAP. Uh, really fun ships to play. Easily spotted though, so you have to be careful, have to maneuver, engine juke, uh, dodge a lot. Uh, if you like that kind of gameplay, it's really good ships. You do need third reverse on them for your commander and your and your build, because third reverse is not keeping up with the speed of a ship. Uh, Chunkin, smoke, short range Daka, not super long range. They're fun, good torpedoes, but the range is a bit limiting. Delhi, the new line. I really, I really enjoy them. I think they're really fun, really good to play, really great, exceptionally good against submarines. Um, you do get nuked a lot. It's you need a good skill to play these well, but they are really rewarding when you play them well. So I really, I really dig this line. This line is really awesome. Argentina, I despise the line. It's awful. AP only, gimmicky ships. Uh, I don't like them. Same with the same with the Spanish. They can do well. I just don't like the whole gimmicky situation. Uh, long range AP spam and you just hope the enemy doesn't turn nose in. Basically. That's it. So those are the cruisers. Then battleships. Uh, Congo. Great. Great line. Leads to the Yamato. Don't play max range all the time. That's a mistake many people make. Yes, you have the range. Doesn't mean you have to use it all the time. Stay relatively close to your teammates within uh, 10 kilometers of your teammates. 15 kilometers of the enemy roughly we want to be. Um, they can shoot at long range, are really accurate. Not the tanky ships in the world, but tanky enough if you if you angle a bit. I like them a lot, they're really good. Um, New York is pretty meh. The line is good, at least to the Montana. Really great ship line. I love the ship line, it's really fast. Uh, you can also go for the Vermont line, they're both really good. Um, I don't like New York itself because it's slow, it's clumsy. It's kind of the meh one in the line, but the rest of them are really good, really good. Piotr Valkyrie, um, it's a decent ship, it's here. It has a limited amount of DCP charges, which I greatly despise. Yes, you have faster reload, but therefore also less action time on it. Five seconds less. 33% less action time on your DCP is bad. Also getting a limited amount of them. I think it's awful, so I don't play this line at all. Um, they're tanky, their guns are good, but they die by fires all the time. The Flinger, I just showed this line. And great secondary ships can't really deal with a lot of uh, damage. They uh, they are go in, hit fast, hit hard, and get the hell out of their ships. They're fast enough to do so. Guns are really accurate for German ships. They're really accurate, really good. Secondaries are amazing, the best secondaries in the game. But your survivability is very lackluster. And with this added to it, ah, it's say awful. They're really fun to play, but really hard to get into because you need to have a captain with um, at least 10 points to get your fire prevention, then 14 points to get your concealment to get in there without dying beforehand, and then you need to get this, so you need to be um, 18 points in to make this work. It's really, really expensive. Uh, before that time, before you have these two here, before you have this one here, you need to focus fully on main battery, and the main battery is really good, don't get me wrong. But the gimmick... Is way too expensive to go into, so it takes a long time to get them to be good. Uh, Koning, great ship, great line, I love the line, it's awesome in every way, shape, and form, with the exception of their air detection range and their, at least at the uh, cross the curve first and FAG line, where you actually have to get into um, anti air builds to make sure your anti air is good enough, which takes away from your secondary builds. So I love the line, they used to be awesome, but planes really, really new to them. Really do. Iron Duke, I don't like the I don't like the line of the British too much. Their inaccurates is mostly my biggest problem. They have very good HE, they have very good heals. Uh, they don't have really good armor, but their heals compensate for the lack of armor. The problem is though, when you shoot their main guns, they usually miss more than they hit, which is frustrating to play. They can be really good, they got a great fire stars as set, and at, at the end you get great heals and stuff. I don't like the line at all, because it's, it's HE spammy, which is not really skill based, because it doesn't really matter if the enemy's angling or not angling. So it removes a lot of skill. And then also, even if your aim is awesome, uh, the, the little shots still miss. 
they're really inaccurate. So I don't like this line. Nope. Now the Tiger is really interesting line. A lot more accurate, a lot more tanky than uh, the most battle cruisers. It's not a battleship, it's a battle cruiser. I'll get your uh, your weird as torpedo. They're fun. They're good to play. They're really good flankers. They can actually take the role of what the uh, uh, Italian cruiser line does and the French cruiser line used to do. Uh, flanking, going to the sides. Your AA is actually good and reliable. So uh, fun line, fun to play. Uh, slight the, the accuracy on the main guns is still not great, but your HE is really really good. So yeah, fun line. Then we get uh, Bretagne. Uh, the French crew, the French battleships, I like them, they're fun. They're poorly armored, but in exchange they're really fast, have long range guns, are really accurate and are really maneuverable. So if you like dodging with your battleships and actually changing lanes, these are really awesome, really fun to play. Although uh, Bretagne and uh, up to the Lyon you get some very slow ships, which um, yeah, tier 8 and 9 and 10 are the fast ships. Before that, you get a few very slow ships to work with. Lyon is fun though for shotgunning. Lyon has really an insane amount of shells. Uh, 16 guns per ship. Really shotgunning, you need to get really close. They're really fun to play. But the fast and really good ships get a tier 8 and beyond. You get to, to Ruscio, you get to the Assas and uh, Republic. Really fun to play. But you have to get past a few show ships before you get there. Uh, Carvor, uh, I don't like this line. Uh, Carvor is one of the better ones. Tier 7 is decent. Beyond that, they're so inaccurate. Yes, they have SAP and yes, they go to Colombo. But they either do not have the accuracy or the gun count to make them wor be worthwhile, to in my opinion. I play them as a meme. Beyond that, I don't really play them because I think they're really bad. Roma is great. Roma is awesome. But, uh, yeah... They're just too inaccurate. They, they're frustrating to play because you don't hit your shells where you aim for. And you have to wait a long reload as well. So I don't really like them. The, the one thing they have for them is the running smoke screen, which is really fun to use. But in a battleship, it's really rare to use. You can use to disengage, which I think is boring. So you used to be aggressive, but then you have to work on secondaries because main batteries will get you shown and remove the use of your, um, of your smoke. So... Um, as a meme, they can work. I don't recommend them. I don't recommend them. And then finally, the last um, the last type is the carriers. Which they're not on tier 5, so that's easy. Uh, <laughs> but let's talk about carriers anyway. They're not on tier 5, but let's talk about them anyway. Let's go for tier uh, 6, because there they exist. Uh, if you go the Japanese line, you're going to the torpedo line. You're going to have great torpedoes all the way around. Also, the torpedo planes are extremely stealthy compared to any other planes, uh, torpedo bombers. 7.5 kilometer detection range, where every other ship has uh, roughly about uh, 10 kilometer detection range. So you can really scout well with uh, the torpedo planes of the Japanese. They're also the highest damage torpedo planes in the game. So really good if you want to use torpedoes. And in my opinion, torpedoes are still the best armament in game. So really great. Uh, independence then is... Um, uh, wait, Independence was... Uh, oh, this is the special one. Yeah, the special one. With the gimmicky planes, which I don't like, but the infinite. You get yourself smoke screens eventually. Independence doesn't have them yet. But infinite planes, I don't like. You do have torpedo planes your main uh, fall back to, which are always good. And beyond that, it's just... Uh, it's gimmicky. Gimmicky. Ranger is one of the base ones. Uh, good planes. Good ship. Fun to play. Um, just all round good. Not not specifically outstanding in any one shape, way, or form, but it's just 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 normally good all round. Can do all things. Set off if you want to be um, the one to use um, skip bombers on enemies while being outside of the anti air. If you think that's fun, uh, you can do that. It feels cheaty to me, but it works, I guess. Rocket planes are always awful. I never go for rocket planes at all. Torpedo Bombers, uh, they do have a long arming distance, so you, you have to drop them pretty far out. They do hit pretty decent, pretty good, but mostly it's about the HE Skip Bombers, which can actually attack enemies from beyond their AA range. And set fires and do a lot of damage. Um, feels cheaty to me, but it works, I guess. Now, Wazer is where I get something interesting and fun. Uh, you can build these on uh, secondaries. And actually, secondaries usually coincide roughly with their... Um, Maximum secondary range coincides with their um, detection range usually. Uh, not yet at tier 6 it seems. But at the 8 when you're, you get detected you also have secondaries working which the Graf Zeppelin can't. 
Uh, I like to use these as uh, light cruisers. Go in with secondaries. Of course, plan your approach so you don't get nuked by 10 people or by torpedoes. But uh, going in and killing killing TDs and, uh, and, and submarines with these is awesome to do. Um, they're also pretty tanky, so nose in, angle well, and you can actually tank like a battleship. They're really fun to play. I like them a lot. Uh, Furious, but also CVs. I like them a lot because I like the mechanic around the bombers. They have a um, special bombing pattern. Um, what do you call them again? There is a name for that, which I forgot. Um, doesn't say. Uh, it drops bombs in a big area. A uh, lot of bombs. I think the mechanic is fun, although it doesn't hit enough to actually offset the damage difference to have on the planes. So it doesn't really do too much damage. The entire line doesn't. The gimmick is these bombers, which do carpet bombing. This is the word, carpet bombing. I think they're fun to play, they're fun to use, but don't expect too much damage or impact. Don't expect too much. Um, as in every single of these CVs, torpedoes are the best armament. And of those, the best one is by far, or are by far, the Japanese. Because both the detection range on the planes and the torpedoes do more damage. They're simply the best. For, for If you go for carriers, I'd go for Rigel for the entire Japanese line all the way because it's just the best. For funsies, I would recommend the, the Weiser and Richthofen line because the secondaries are amazing fun to play with. The Americans are just playing good. Playing good, and I do like that in the mid type of the independence line here. You do get the smoke screens to help out your teammates, which is uh, something that the carries really need. Something to positively influence their teammates. Uh, where can I see it? Here. Uh, but it only starts with Yorktown. We can actually drop smoke screens on, uh, on allies or enemies if you want to troll. Uh, <laughs> it works either way, it's smoke screen. But uh, I like that you can actually have a, a positive way to influence the, the game for your teammates. That, that's fun to use. Beyond that, though, it's gimmicky. And, and infinite planes I'm always against. I always want to be that there is an, a chance of a risk to do. And these planes just are on the cooldown. They just always are full back, full squadrons all the time. So I don't like that. I don't like that. There must be a risk involved into any action you take. But um, yeah. That's my take on every single ship at tier 5 and, well, beyond most lines as well. So, um, yeah, I hope that, hope that explains what you want to know. 